Here is something we've all seen hundreds of times, a glass window. Glass is useful in houses because it lets in light, but keeps out dust, insects, wind, rain, and snow. This wall is made of glass blocks. Blocks of glass also let in light, but keep out dust, insects, and the weather. Two, glass blocks look nice. But how is glass made? And what is it made of? Well, it's made of materials that don't look at all like glass. One is limestone, solid rock that we dig from quarries like this one. Limestone is one of three main materials we must have to make glass. And of course, the limestone can't be used just the way it comes from the ground. Let's see what happens to it. After being dug from the quarry, the limestone is hauled away to stone crushing mills that are usually built nearby. This is where the trucks dump the limestone rock. Down into the big jaws of a rock crushing machine. And this is just the first step. From here, the limestone goes on to several more crushers in other parts of the mill. The limestone is broken up into smaller and smaller pieces. Then it is cleaned and sifted. And now, at the end of a long process, this finely crushed limestone is ready for making glass. This is the first of the three main materials we need to make glass. We also must have sand. Here, a dynamite explosion loosens a whole hillside of sand. Another explosion loosens more of the sand. Then, after the explosions, a powerful stream of water washes down the loosened sand. The hose is like the hose firemen use. You can tell how strong this stream of water is by the way it cuts under the sand and brings it down in a heap. As the water flows down the slope, it carries sand along with it. The mixture of sand and water is washed into a pool. From here it is pumped through pipes that lead across the sand mine and up the slope to the mill. In the mill, the sand is cleaned, separated from the water, and dried. Here are freight cars lined up to haul away their loads of clean, dry sand. So now we have sand, the second material we need to make glass. The third material is made in chemical plants like this. It's called soda ash. Soda ash is made from several things. Salty water from the earth is the most important of these. When ready for use, Soda ash looks like this, our third material needed for making glass. Now, what happens to the soda ash, sand, and limestone in making glass? First, let's see a small amount of glass being made in a laboratory. Here, we find the three materials, limestone, and sand, and soda ash. This man will use a little of these materials glass plant would use a lot of each. It is very important to weigh each of these materials carefully. Careful weighing will make sure the materials will be used in just the right amounts. Next, it is important to mix the materials very well. This is just as necessary as to weigh them carefully. 
After being mixed, the materials are ready to be melted into glass. We'll put our mixture into a container which will not melt. Also, we need special clothing to protect against the direct scorching heat of the laboratory furnace. The furnace temperature must be 2700 degrees Fahrenheit, a little hotter than a coal fire in a stove. Now, into the fire goes the mixture of limestone, sand, and soda ash to be melted into glass. After being in the furnace several hours, here it is, a white hot liquid. The glass pours out like sticky molasses. Quickly, the liquid hardens into something we shall soon recognize as glass. Now, we've seen a small amount of glass made in a laboratory. Remembering what we've seen, let's visit a modern glass plant. First, we see big round bins. These bins hold tons and tons of limestone, sand, and soda ash. The limestone, sand, and soda ash from the bins are weighed carefully and then mixed. Then they go to be melted in a furnace. Some furnaces hold several hundred tons. Inside are some of the materials already melted. This glass maker is adding another batch. This batch weighs more than a thousand pounds, over half a ton. Down goes the batch of limestone, sand, and soda ash to be melted to a liquid by the great heat inside the furnace. Oil is sometimes burned to make the heat. Gas is used here. The temperature inside the furnace here, as in the laboratory, is 2,700 degrees. The molten glass flows through to this end of the furnace. If you look closely, you can see a continuous soft sheet of glass being drawn up from the surface of the molten glass. Rollers at the edges help keep the glass in line. And the sticky molten glass holds itself together as it is pulled up in an unbroken sheet. As the soft, sticky glass is drawn upward, it is also beginning to cool. The long glass sheet next passes through another chamber, being very carefully cooled. After this cooling, the glass is ready for cutting. This man uses a special cutting tool. Glass for windows should be smooth and clear. So, the cutter looks over every sheet after it is cut. This sheet of glass passes his test. So, he lets it pass along on rollers to the end of the carrier. The next step will be to cut up the large sheet of glass into pieces the right size for windows. This glass cutter, like others in his department, wears special sleeves to protect his clothing. He lines up the glass squarely on the cutting table so he can make a square cut easily. A diamond-pointed tool scratches a straight line across the sheet. Now, with a simple snap, the glass separates along the cut line. These men, in a window-making factory, are putting window panes into their frames. This man first trims the glass so that it fits the frame exactly. Other men set the trimmed glass into the frames. This little machine fastens small metal pieces into the wooden frame just above the glass. Next to the glass setter is the man who puts on the putty. He has to know his job and the putty must be just right. Putty fills cracks between glass and wood so rain and wind and dust can't get through. 
And so, out of materials taken from the earth and mixed and melted, we can make the strong, clear glass that adds greatly to our health, our comfort, and our enjoyment. <laughs>